Hi, I'm Kate from Nancy's Notions, and I am excited to be here today to show you the Tubetacular book and template set. This template was designed with the idea of using pre-cut or cut two and a half inch wide fabric strips. The stripes are running on the diagonal of the block, so it looks like a complex block to cut and accurately put together. Now this table runner shows a variety of blocks, but we are going to be creating this striped block. You can see it's diagonal and it looks really complex, but it is so easy. So let's get started. The most dramatic results happen with this quilt block if you use a combination of lights and darks. And here we have four different fabrics and we have a combination of a light and dark blue, the light and dark berry or raspberry color. And that will give us a lot of fun options. Since I'm using a slightly smaller rotary cutting mat, I'm going to fold my fabric into quarters or fourths, meeting the selvage edges first, which creates a fold. That fold I'm going to stack right on top of the matched selvage edges. Now I'm going to cut the two and a half inch wide fabric strips. I have one edge clean cut so it's nice and even. Now we're just going to use the markings on the ruler to easily cut those strips. Cut two strips of each of your four fabrics and you'll have enough to create a fun variety of blocks. I have my first set of strips paired together. I have a light and dark. I have the machine set up with the flexible seam guide attached to the base of the machine, as well as the quarter inch patchwork foot attached. And I'm just going to run the fabric right along the edge of the seam guide. By having the seam gauge attached, I really don't need any pins at all, which also makes for faster stitching. And you would stitch all the way from one end of the strip to the other end of the strip. And we're going to do the same step to our second set of strips. Again, a dark and a light right sides together and stitch that quarter inch seam allowance. First, we're going to just press the seam flat and then I'll press the darker fabric away from the lighter fabric. And we'll do the same for the next set of strips. Once you have all your strip sets pressed, we're ready to create our tube for the next step. We have our first pair of strips put together, or at least matched up. I have the one coloration of the dark and the light, and then the second coloration of the dark and the light. And I am just going to put those right sides together, and we will stitch along the outermost edges of those strip sets. And this is where the tube name comes in because we have sewn a tube created with the four strips. We only need to press this flat and then start the fun of cutting. The idea is to easily cut all the shapes that we need. And we're going to align the black solid lines along the outer edge of our fabric tube and we're going to make sure that we get that cutting slot aligned as close as possible to the end of our fabric tube so we waste as little fabric as possible. And I'm going to kind of shift my body a little bit to cut comfortably and safely. Insert the rotary blade into the cutting slot, cut across, and repeat for the remaining two cutting slots. Always cut away from your body. And we're going to shift these away just slightly. And we can cut more triangles from our fabric tube. Now the big reveal. What you'll want to do is remove the little bit of stitching at the point and a little tweezers or a little seam ripper is handy, but repeat that for each stitched point of your cut triangles. Once you have those little points released, this is what you end up with. And you have some fantastic striped quilt blocks.
at your ironing board or pressing mat, press the seams toward the darker fabric on all your striped quilt blocks. Let's get these pressed and then let's have fun arranging. I've got a variety of striped quilt blocks, but I want to show you just how changing the order of one set of strips can give you a complementary block but a little bit of a variation. This stack, when I sewed that tube together, I had light blue to dark purple. In this block set, when I sewed that tube together, I had light blue, which you see right here, to the lighter purple color. So that can add to the fun of designing a bigger quilt block. So let's try it. Maybe try this one. Here, this would be a very dramatic look. What if we pulled in that those two blocks that were a little different instead of the dark on the middle stripe, the dark is now at the corners. That looks fun. What if we change these two? Once you get started, you can't stop designing. It's really fun to play with the colors that you select. Let's take a look at a few finished projects so you can see the fun that you can have with color and placement within that striped block. We have a beautiful blue, and here's a green and purple. Again, here's where the block that you create is. And here's a flying geese pattern, but if you take your block, this is what you've created. And one last one, again, another beautiful variation, and that's the block right there. The tube-tacular template allows you to create an infinite number of block combinations through color and strip placement. Use the instructions in the book that comes with the template to create table runners, wall hangings, or quilts. Now it's your turn to create some spectacular block variations with the tube-tacular template. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, hit the like button and comment below telling us what you think. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We encourage you to show us your completed projects or tools in use. Feel free to post a photo on Instagram and use hashtag Nancy's Notions. Thanks so much for watching. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay. And action. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. <laughs> Are we ready? Hi. Uh, no, I, that sounded squeaky. <laughs> so, yeah. A bit, a bit. All right, all right. Because I'll, I'll just once I explain, we, we got. Um, all right, let's just do it. <laughs>